Hello, Hello everybody, and welcome to our video all about Call of Duty Modern Warfare's multiplayer. There's so much stuff, we're about to get into it. How ABS much, how reloading, much stuff? mounting your weapons, nukes. Ah! <laughs> oh. <laughs> a heart attack. Let's just crack on. Okay, so number one, the multiplayer is cross-platform. Oh, this is big news. This is like the first time it's ever happened, right? Yeah, exactly. So you have PC, PS4, and Xbox One. You can all play together in one big shared ecosystem. That is going to be insane yeah. because, Caroline, of course, the PC players, they've got the mouse and keyboard. Right. Uh, the console players have the controllers. Like, how is that going to work, do you reckon? See, I don't know, right? Because, you know, historically, there's been a bit of drama and a bit of tension between yeah. PC and console the players. The great wars. Yeah, <laughs> the big war that happened. Uh, and then, obviously, you have aim assist on console. Yeah, so yeah. So how yeah. is that going to play into that will not happening on PC. I think there should be like a separate playlist where it's right. like, here's where all the consoles and the different platforms can play together in one shared kind of like battleground and like face up against each other. Who's the best? Who's the best platform? Uh, but I think it should be just in that playlist and the other playlist should be separate. Do you know what it will actually do though? It will finally settle that age old dispute of who is actually better, PC or console players. We're going to find out. Who are you voting for? Uh, PC. <laughs> So on to the second point, Caroline, mm -hmm. uh, Ground War. It's a brand new mode uh, oh, to yeah. Call of Duty. I, I say it's a new mode. It's been in every Call of Duty since the dawn of time. But this one is the biggest Ground War you're ever going to experience okay. because uh, you've got 20 players on each side. Wow. And Infinity Ward are saying they're currently testing even bigger player counts, possibly 100 plus. Ooh, massive numbers it here, sounds, crazy numbers. It sounds good. So t tell me, how does it work? Well, it's basically like domination. Uh, you've got five capture points on the map. The mm -hmm. map is huge. Players have to go and capture the different points, work together, hold the points down, uh, and win by just territorial advantage. That makes sense. And you know what this sounds a lot like to me? I know what you're going to say. Battlefield! Oh, I thought you were going to say Tetris. Uh, um, uh, yes. Close. <laughs> it does sound like Battlefield, Duh. yeah. Especially when you take into account all the different vehicles. Yeah, yeah. And that's going to be really cool because that's a big part of what makes Battlefield so fun, having all these vehicles and yeah. fighting to get into a plane. See, I don't know if there's going to be like airplanes on this or like jets and things, but mm. there is definitely choppers confirmed yep. and there's APCs confirmed. So multiple players piloting vehicles and flying them and crashing them. I'm going to crash into you. All right. <laughs> Other modes confirmed alongside Ground War are... Griff, that's not one. Griff, it stop it. I reckon it stop. is. Put it, put it away. Put it, put it down. Put it, put it <laughs> okay, Griff, I've got another thing for you. Hits me Are you ready? round the face. Uh, aim down sight reload. So this yeah. is when you're aiming down the sight of your weapon. Mm -hmm. Your view won't be pulled away anymore to watch an animation when you reload. So that's yeah. going to make everything a bit more responsive and like a bit faster, hopefully. Yeah, so it's really cool. So this is the first time the feature has appeared in a COD game by default. Yeah. But if you remember correctly, there was a weapon attachment in Black Ops 4 that actually maintained ADS with certain sniper rifles. I do not remember that because I didn't play Black Ops 4 that much, <laughs> but that makes sense. Um, do you know who I'm going to be really shedding a tear for yeah. uh, regarding ADS? It's okay. the COD pros. They've learned all the different timings and they've learned how to like get out of ADS, reload and then mm. train their sights back on like the right pixel of the screen. Yeah. But now they're going to have to just like change everything. I like, know. I think I think it's really weird. I'm really excited to try it but I'm also weirded out because I'm so used to being pulled out and, and watching that animation. I think there needs to be like a bit of a penalty when you're reloading because you can't just stay like in a rock solid ADS mm. the whole time. There has to be a time bit of a penalty but as long as they get you to like jog a bit or something like that, I think it's going to be fine. Also, I do apologise for my uh, gun uh, motion here. If you <laughs> if you can tell, I've never actually wielded a weapon before. Oh, can you oh, tell? Little. I tell you what, Caroline. What would you say if I said to you, "Weapon flip"? Those magic words. I would imagine it's two people having a duel where you flip your weapons, and the first to catch them and shoot the other person wins. Oh, like in the Wild West. Yes. That is completely wrong. Uh, weapon right. flip is a feature in Call of Duty Modern Warfare, whereby people who you kill actually. Mm -hmm drop the weapons in realistic ways. You know, they'll flip out of their hands. It might fall forward. It might smack them in their head. Okay, so I can super get behind weapon flip. Mm -hmm. I'm down. It's cool. It's fun. Whoa. It's flipping, flipping. cool. Yeah, hey. yeah. No, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> then tell me why. Why is it a thing? Well, Infinity Ward, they kind of want to make it so you really know when you killed someone. Mm -hmm. um, and if you're playing on realism mode, there's no hard and no kill confirmed. Mm -hmm. The fact that your weapon's flipping out of the enemy's hands basically just says 
they're dead. And this they're makes sense, because I was thinking as you were saying this, why can't the body to be falling to the ground be enough? But think about it, oftentimes if you're shooting someone, they go prone. And you yeah, think exactly. they're dead, but they're not. So this is actually a good indicator. And it especially <laughs> works if they're behind cover. You shoot them from behind cover using the penetration damage, uh, and you don't know they're dead, but if their gun like flips out from behind the cover, you know, hey, they've dropped their gun, they're probably dead. Flying guns all over the place. If you get knocked down and then you're like, where's <laughs> my weapon. fucking gun? <laughs> <laughs> So the next thing we're going to be talking about is night vision. So on maps that support it, every player will be able to equip it. When everyone's um, targeting each other, like you can see when you're being targeted mm -hmm. and they can see you. So no, nowhere to hide on these uh, night vision goggle maps. No, especially not. And even cooler, if you put on a flipper light switch on, yeah. it will just blind oh, everyone. And they're going to be like, ah, my yeah, eyes. My eyes. Oh, that's going to be horrendous. Yeah. But that's the first thing I'm going to do, yeah, I guess. Just blind everyone. Caroline, the next thing I want to talk to you about is mounting your weapons. Do it. So you get your weapon out, you mount it on a ledge or like a wall or something for a bit of extra stability, mm -hmm. and you can take down people without shaking all over the place. See, I like that, but couldn't you mount weapons before? Or I just you you could, it? yeah, you can mount uh, turrets and things like that. Right. But I think what Infinity Water are doing uh, is letting you mount every single weapon. Theoretically, you could get your magnum out, stabilize yourself on a wall or something like that, and just mm -hmm. like take someone out. Okay, so imagine this. You can slide into cover, uh -huh. you can mount your weapon, you can take someone out and yep. then watch their gun flip so you know that they're oh. That they're dead, the right? weapon flip from last time. Yeah. Yep. And that means that you have reduced recoil and greater stability. Yes. All of which are good. Exactly. And I think it's going to kind of uh, affect the tempo of matches because mm. if you're chasing after someone, you've got to watch because they can just turn around, put their weapon on a ledge, like create a bottleneck, mm -hmm. uh, have that whole bottleneck covered. You're going to like kind of deny areas to people. Yeah. Um, and I think that's kind of a, a cool thing, changing yeah. the tempo. Okay, Griff, now we're talking about sound. Sound. Cloud. So now you can hear the butt of your gun thudding into your chest when you aim down sights. Okay, sounds painful right in the, right in the sternum. Sounds painful but realistic because mm -hmm. that's what happened in real life, yep. right? And now also you can hear your footsteps in puddles. If you're running through water or somebody else is running through water around you, you can be like, oh, crap puddle over there, there's someone over there. So that's going to be like a dead giveaway. You can like listen in on, on where they're coming from. and Yeah. Like, yeah, so Is don't it? stay away from puddles. Stay away from puddles. But yeah. now also you can hear bullets skim past your ears, which okay. is cool because you know that adds to the whole <laughs> the whole realism of it. <laughs> yeah, it really does sound like they've uh, improved the overall sound design and just like adding to that cacophony of yeah. all like people running through puddles and things and like the bullets, as you say. Um, but like the thing is, whenever I go on Amazon and I research headphones and things, there's mm -hmm. always comments from people underneath the um, the headphones saying like, oh, you know, I could appreciate where the footsteps are coming from and it, mm -hmm. it really immersed me in the game. So I do take this with a pinch of salt that they've enhanced the sound that much. It's these small little things that maybe you don't notice when you play older games that would add to the realism yeah. now. And now, you know, technology is kind of catching up and we're being more creative with what we're doing. I think it's exciting to see how more immersive this feels. <laughs> So one of the new things you're going to notice about the multiplayer in Modern Warfare is the change to the map design. Now, mm -hmm. in, the, in the last games, Call of Duty always had the uh, three-lane structure. Maps were separated into different channels and yeah. lanes. But now they're kind of focusing on sight lines and vantage points, which is going to feel a lot more natural. Yeah. So you're going to like be able to mantle up places, have sight lines over maps, and that's going to tie into like weapon mounting, so you'll be able to lock down uh, different locations and it's going to feel a lot more realistic than just like a video gamey type of map yeah no i get what you mean and this sounds cool it sounds like you know you can really take down people if you really have earned that kill yeah like tactically yeah you have to be tactical right it's yeah. not just like spotting someone first down a corridor it's actually getting to the places to see people properly yeah i'm gonna be like caroline you're gonna flank that way i'm gonna flank this way and we're gonna get them and then they're just gonna i don't know drop a nuke on our head or something yeah yeah sadly but the bad thing if they do drop a nuke on our head is that we all can't run into a doorway because yeah. the scale of doorways are now smaller and yes. more realistic yeah, yeah, yeah. so before if you look back at old Call of Duty games the doorways are huge they're so wide I know right and you can fit so many people through them and get crazy gunfights going in there but now you can't because now they're more on a realistic scale <laughs> Kill streaks, bitch! What? Kill streaks? Where are the, the scores? Where are the score streaks gone? All right, score streaks. Score streaks are gone. Yep. Not important. No one cares about that crap anymore. Now it's all about kills. I think it's showing okay. us now that that kills are the most important thing. That's what you should be focusing on. I mean, yeah, be a team player. Probably do the objective, nope. but maybe don't just, do the objective. Just get killed. Just gonna kill everyone now. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So should we have a look at the kill streaks? What are? are they? Yeah. Let's have a look. All right. I wonder what, I are they it. like really soft? Nice. Oh, that's your eye. Right. 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a few of the kill streaks are leapt out to me, particularly. What, can you stop eating the sack, please, Caroline? <laughs> Um, there's the Juggernaut, obviously. You can call in a care package with the Juggernaut suit in. That's going to mm -hmm. give you a bit more damage uh, reduction. And also, just like, looks cool as hell. Badass. Yeah, I'm the Juggernaut now, bitch. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and you've also got the nuke. The nuke is back. Uh, you get a, like a certain number of kills. You can call a nuke down from the sky and it's going to wipe out the entire match and will end the game. I can never get it. It's like 25 kills or something. It's, yeah, it's, it's I never madness. got that. I wasn't even good enough to look at one on YouTube. No. <laughs> um, and also, very controversially, there is the white phosphorus. What is that? Uh, it is basically a chemical you can call down, like a white chemical, uh -huh. um, and it blankets the level in like a kind of a burning residue. Mm -hmm. And if you stumble into the uh, the white phosphorus, it's going to burn your skin. So I guess like effectively, it's kind of like just fire or mm -hmm. like poison gas. But yeah, it has caused a controversy mm -hmm. uh, because according to the Geneva Convention, it's considered a war crime. Oh, just, just don't do it. <laughs> do you know what? <laughs> Let's get political, <laughs> bitches. Maybe we shouldn't talk about the Geneva Convention. <laughs> So we hope you enjoyed our definitive Modern Warfare multiplayer rundown. It was a pleasure chatting to you about all the features. That was really formal. It was an absolute pleasure. <laughs> uh, yeah. Let's not forget though the beta. If you want to get your hands on the game, the open beta runs September 21st to 23rd on PC. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't have to pre-order the game or anything. You can, I don't know, you can just steal a PC and download the beta on that. No one can get you. Yeah, and Fine. then you can just get 25 kills and then just drop a nuke on us. Uh, that's really going to ruin my day if yeah, you do that. Please actually, don't drop a yeah, nuke on us. Maybe don't. All anyway, right, thanks, thanks, for, thanks watching. for watching. Bye. Can we joke about war crimes? No.